I want to talk about Dan Tickton, actually, as, as you mentioned mm. it, going into the upload. It was really interesting that he was on Twitch the other day and, and said, you know, he, he doesn't really have a contract for next season we're assuming he was going to be in that ERT and I think for Dan obviously Formula E is big for him like he needs to make sure that he is he's in Formula E because I don't know what other category he he, he would end up at another category but I don't know where he'd go and, and how long he'd have to wait for an opening so I think Formula E is huge for him but maybe that that could be part of the conversation actually that you know why he doesn't have that contract and he said to me two to three weeks he might know where he is we're past that now so you know, maybe a move to Abloh maybe is not as far fetched as one can imagine. I I don't think so. I mean, I think some of the things that he said over the London weekend were pointing in the direction of him staying at ERT. But as right. you say, he's 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 alluded to the fact that he doesn't have a contract. Is it going to roll over into another year uh, extension? Who knows? I, with no disrespect to ERT here, I think that Dan is a driver far des- more deserving of a competitive seat in Formula yeah. E. Um, I think, you know, there's there's times where he, you know, he makes the odd error and he needs to iron them out. But I think that he's matured a lot as a racing driver in, in com- you know, completely since he's been in Formula E. Um, I believe if I've got this right, he has no penalty points on his licence at the moment. Yep, um, <laughs> exactly. And... I think that, to be honest, there's there's been no real controversies. Yeah, he's he's you know he's been vocal on his radio on occasions, but aren't all Formula One drivers? It just seems to the reputation with Tickton make, makes it stick more when he does it uh, for another time. So as far as I'm concerned, he's kept his nose clean. He's he's been you know pretty conservative in the way he's he's spoken in the last couple of seasons, and I think that to be honest. He, if a team like Ablona wants to take him on, I don't see what the risk is. I don't think there is one. He's a talented driver, and I actually would anticipate that if he was in that car, he'd outscore Degrassi. Yeah, I think most people would as well. Um, Jack, thank you so much for coming on. Um, no, thank you. And, and giving us a little bit of an insight there, really good insight. Um, 